hello and welcome. Today it's time for another black and white quick edit. So I'm gonna take this raw file and I'm gonna turn it into a picture like this. So first thing obviously I'm gonna turn the picture into black and white. I don't mind the color look either but I really want to go for the black and white feel. A very old school nostalgic feel kind of. And then I'm also gonna crop the picture, make sure that it's everything nice and straight right here. And I'm also gonna take away some of the sky, just because it's a little bit too much boring blank space there. So let me continue, I'm gonna raise the shadows and I think the overall picture is just a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna raise the exposure here and of course do my other adjustments, just bringing down the blacks as I usually do with my black and white pictures. And in this case, I really don't want to make it too dynamic. I think uh, kind of a darkish mood works pretty well here. Just gonna play around with the other sliders. I might even go a little bit minus contrast. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And clarity, clarity, I actually like the plus clarity look. But because I went minus contrast, I have a relatively, obviously, low contrast overall picture. So now I can just grab an adjustment brush and go into the plus contrast and just brush over some parts of the image. So that way we also get the very nice differentiation in terms of contrast and everything looks a little bit different, more interest. I really like that. Uh, way of editing, you know, making every part look a little bit different. So here is before the adjustment brush of just contrast and here's after. If I press O, you see just some spots. So um, I think, yeah, I'm done with the basics adjustments, but let me go quickly down to the tonal curve and also play around with these sliders. I really, once again, don't want to go too far with them because I like this kind of darkish mood but I am going to play around with the sliders. Shadows, lastly, I think they are fine how they were. So then I want to add a little bit more interest and more dynamic in terms of lighting. So I'm gonna grab a graduated filter and just drag it over the right portion of the sky right here and go quite far into the plus exposure and also grab another one over the left part, pretty much parallel to the uh, plus exposure filter. And this time just add some minus exposure. I'm sure you know that procedure if you've watched any of my previous videos. And that way you really can create so much more interest in terms of lighting. Here's before, here is after. I might have overdone it just a little bit with the plus exposure. Always definitely a thing that I would suggest you to do as well is go back to the adjustments and just see if there is a little bit too much or a little bit too less. You know, that's a great thing about digital editing. You can really try out all kind of different looks. Now, I'm also gonna try and close out the picture just by dragging one very small graduated filter over the very top and just kind of angling it so it works with the lighting scheme. And then just go a little bit into the minus exposure. You definitely don't want to go too far, otherwise you just have a line there. But just a little bit works pretty well. And I'm also gonna do the same with the bottom and also close out the picture there. Now, I think instead of adding global vignetting here with the effects tool, you see it works, but it also adds vignetting in the top right corner in the sky. And that really doesn't work with the lighting scheme. So I'm rather gonna reset that and just grab an adjustment brush, go into the minus exposure and really just go over some of these edges where I think there is some more vignetting needed. So overall, I think I am done with this picture here. Actually, let me just try and add some dodge and burning. I'm really gonna go very quick here. Going plus exposure for this part, right click duplicate. By the way, I might make a dodge and burning, another dodge and burning tutorial where I really explain what I'm looking for a little bit more in depth than in my first tutorial but overall you just want to complexify the light. Um, I'm also going to add some negative exposure adjustments here just to once again complement the lighting scheme and exaggerate the whole light. 
So I think I am done here. Here is before any dodge and burning. Here's after. Really doesn't have a big impact here in this picture. Actually, I might add another negative exposure one here and even mix it with contrast and really go quite far. Something like that. Yeah. All right, so here's before dodge and burning, and here is after. Just a little bit of a difference in this case. I think I'm done here with this photo. We really just wanted to go for a kind of old school look. So here is the before, and here is the picture in black and white, and here's what we've made out of it. So just a little bit more interesting, a little bit more focused with the cropping and stuff. I think it turned out pretty decent. As always, thank you very much for watching, stay tuned for more videos just like this one and be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I want to wish you a great day and please take care.